O'Dowd can now be seen on Broadway in Of Mice and Men. He talked with contributor Jamie Wax for our series, The Road to the Tonys. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Though O'Dowd has plenty of stage experience in his native Ireland and elsewhere, his performance alongside James Franco in the Steinbeck Classic is the first time he's ever appeared on Broadway. His portrayal of the character Lenny has won him acclaim and a Tony nomination for Best Actor in a Play. Why should people care about theater, about seeing it, about developing it as an audience? Why does theater matter? I mean, I, uh, to me, it's just it's a totally different art form. I mean, I think the idea of comparing theater to film or TV isn't quite right. It's more like, why is conversation important? Or uh, why is live music important? Um, it's much more of a, a physical contract between an audience and a performer. You have a lot of non-traditional theater goers in this audience. Sure. A lot, of, a lot of young people, a lot of students, a lot of people here that are excited about James Franco yeah. uh, being in the show. Uh, have you had some interesting responses from different audiences? <laughs> yeah. I mean, particularly on the, in the matinees when the school groups come in, because it's on the syllabus, I guess, and you can tell by their response to the various narrative plot points that they were too lazy to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they were supposed to, you know, when certain things happen, they'll go, oh my God, no. And you could see their teacher looking over. How did you not know that that was gonna happen? <laughs> we did this last week. <laughs> um, and then, then there were just random things that happened where, like you say, a lot of people come to see Leighton and Meester and, and James, and, uh, and they don't necessarily know how to verbalize their excitement. <laughs> so the odd time we've had people just go, James Franco! <laughs> <laughs> Them other guys gets in jail. They can rot for all anyone gives a damn. <laughs> but not us. <laughs> and why? Because. Because I got you to look after me and you got me to look after you and that's why. <laughs> the relationship between your character, Lenny, and Go James on. Franco's character, George, is, is extremely important, it's central to this story. To play characters who are so bonded must have bonded you two in real life as well on some level. Yeah, and we hadn't met before the play, so um, it was a bit of a risk in, in a way. But we've definitely grown quite close over the course of the production. And, and there are moments where the audience can't hear what we're saying and I go over and kind of whisper things to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go over and whisper things like, um, you know, George, um, I don't think this is going to work out really well for us. I think we should open a, a farmer's market. <laughs> <laughs> You've had some easy choices handed to you that you could have kept going on a very clear planned path. They were easy no's, like a lot of those kind of films where you get offered quite a lot of money to do the same thing that you've done before, to me is a very easy no, because it's like, oh, I've done it, there's no point really. And You want a hard yes. You know, you want things to seem like I'm not really going to be able to do that very well. But that's what's exciting about saying yes to it. That idea of chasing a dream that is so prevalent in Of Mice and Men, does that resonate in your own life? For sure. I mean, you know, I think there's something interesting in Of Mice and Men because all of these men are chasing the American dream that they feel that they in some way have been promised. But nobody can really define what the American dream even is or or when you've achieved it, and I don't think anybody ever settles in their bed at night and goes, I've arrived. So do you think you'll ever tell yourself I've arrived? No, I don't think I can say that I've arrived or if I'll ever feel comfortable saying that because I'm still not 100% sure where I'm going. Um, but you'll be the first to know. <laughs> and the 2014 Tony Awards will air Sunday, June 8th, right here on CBS. Jamie, thank you.